Hey guys, TGKS Productions. So I have some very exciting news for you guys in this video regarding PlayStation's most recent stream or video that they posted on their channel as well as among other channels that featured this stream and that PlayStation has been talking about for a few weeks now. And that is some more information regarding the PS5. In fact, they actually showed off a number of games that are going to be releasing for the PS5. And they also showed us an official look at the PS5 console itself. However, there's even some more interesting news regarding Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto 5, and it actually making an appearance on the PS5 console and actually releasing on the PS5 console. And that's going to be the first thing we're going to be looking at in this video. And really was one of the first things that PlayStation mentioned in the stream regarding the PS5. So what was really cool at the beginning of this stream is they started it off, uh, or really the first game that I guess you could say they talked about was they started off by showing the GTA 5 trailer, which was really funny. Um, I think that probably caught a lot of people off guard when seeing that. But they showed off a number of like story mode sequences or scenes as well as a lot of the online scenes that have been occurring or, or from updates that have occurred or released over the past you know i'd say four five six seven years now but at the end of all this they had something very interesting to say regarding grand theft auto 5 for the ps5 so at the end they state that grand theft auto 5 will be expanding and enhanced and also be coming to PlayStation 5 2021. However, they also had some very interesting stuff to say even after that. They also state that PlayStation 5 players or owners will be getting the GTA Online free at launch, which is obviously good because you know GTA Online has always been free. And they also say that PS4 owners for GTA 5 or that own GTA 5 will be getting 1 million in GTA cash every month until it launches on the PS5. And that is just crazy. That's a lot of money. We'll talk about that. Now just to sort of review what we just looked at there. Again, they say that GTA 5 will be expanded and enhanced. And this could mean a number of things. And I'm, I'm really not sure what exactly it means. When they say expanded, that could be as simple as them continuing GTA Online updates, possibly even maybe the story, but could also be maybe, you know, is something like a map expansion. I don't know if it would be necessarily on that scale, but you know, obviously expanded, it could go under that category, something like that, as well as enhanced. Does this mean that this is going to be remastered or you know, what what exactly does that mean there? It's very broad, uh very brief. They don't really talk too much about that, but I mean, this would be crazy if it actually gets remastered again. In a sense, I mean, they don't specifically say that, but I don't really know what they mean by enhanced. Again, they were very brief there, but that would be crazy. I mean, what game has been remastered like two times? That, that would be insane. So that is definitely very interesting there regarding the first thing that they stated. They also state that PS5 owners will be getting GTA Online for free. And I really don't know why it's such a big deal because, I mean, it's always been, GTA Online has always been free. So, I mean, I, it, I think what, I'm more interested in is, you know, is GTA 5 going to be free, the game itself, on PS5? I don't know exactly, but, I mean, if, if it's definitely going to be, like, enhanced or expanded on what we sort of talked about before, depending on what level that is, whether it's, you know, on a remastered level, possibly, I'm assuming you'd probably have to pay for it again, although that might be pretty crazy, but, you know, it's getting that... that we're going to have to wait for more information probably from Rockstar regarding that. But at least GTA Online will be free. Again, that, that should be expected. But I think the better question is, is GTA 5 going to cost money itself, the, the game itself on PS5? The last thing that is stated is PlayStation states that PS4 GTA 5 owners will be receiving $1 million in GTA cash up to the every month up to the launch of GTA 5 on the PS5, which again is supposed to be in 2021. And that is a that could significantly be a lot of money. Again, they say GTA cash are not really specific between story and online. I'm assuming it's probably online. 
Um, I think a lot of players would be extremely disappointed if they were saying 1 million cash in GTA 5 itself. So I'm assuming it's GTA Online, although they weren't really specific there. But yeah, I mean, you got to think about that. 1 million every month and up to the release of GTA 5 on PS5. That could be over 12 months. I mean, they weren't specific when in 2021 it's coming out. It could be releasing holiday 2021. Uh, which could be December or or that fall, like September, like when GTA 5 was originally released, that could be over $12 million given to us. And if that isn't online, which hopefully it will be, that is a lot of money. So that is definitely very exciting there as well. Now, one more thing I want to briefly discuss for GTA 5 on the new PlayStation console is they discuss how GTA Online, or you know, you'll be able to play GTA Online on the new console, it's going to be releasing on the, you know, the game itself is going to be releasing on the new console. Um, and I'm assuming, you know, it's, it's a place, since you have a PS Plus account, I'm assuming you're going to be, have, be able to have the same PlayStation account you currently have on the PS5 as well. And online, I know the story itself is saved on the PS or on the, on the console, but I know online, the, uh, the on your online progress is saved to the Rockstar like, cloud services. So, Hopefully that'll mean that obviously we'll have our same characters and that goes for the GT online players. Uh, hopefully we wouldn't have to restart. That would obviously be a huge, I would say, uh, disappointment to the, the very dedicated players that have been playing for years and years and years. They've built up this, you know, character. So I'm assuming we'll have our same characters and I'm definitely hoping that's going to be the case for GTA online on the PS5. Now, as I stated earlier, there's also a number of games that were showed off in this stream that you will be able to play or that will be able to be played on the PS5. And as far as the releases go for those games, there was a lot of different releases that I saw. A lot of them I saw for 2021, some I even saw for holiday 2020, and I believe some didn't even have release dates at all. But there were numerous games that they showed off in this stream there was a new uh, i believe gran turismo game gran turismo 7 uh, a new ratchet clank game uh, rift apart and even a new hitman game hitman 3 and that was just you know a few among the numerous games that that they showed off or some gameplay or scenes they showed off in the stream and there's not really too much i can break down and review from that that's sort of just something you have to experience for yourself really just showed off i would say that the amazing graphics of these games but they also talked about a number of technological aspects of the, I would say, the PS5 console as well as the controller. And they also showed a look towards the end of the actual PS5 console itself. That is sort of what I want to take apart and look at next in this video. Now, I believe both of these technological aspects of the DualSense controller and PS5 console were discussed before but nonetheless playstation reviewed them in this video and first off they went through some technological aspects of the ps5 console and that is 4k ultra hd blu-ray means gonna look amazing on a 4k tv got ultra high speed ssd or the hard drive hopefully maybe that'll improve load times we have the ray tracing which goes into really the the graphics aspect of these games and they also go into the controller the dual sense controller as well uh, and they talk about the haptic feedback as well as the adaptive uh, triggers which were talked about when they announced the dual sense the sort of when they mentioned like when you feel the tension of pulling back a bow and a game that sort of plays into feeling more what's going on in the game you have the usb port probably the charger motion sensor the built-in microphone just talked about as well as the headset jack and then the 3D audio, which is also very, very cool. And I can't wait to experience. And again, these are just all the technological aspects that I believe were discussed before, but PlayStation reviewed them in their stream here. Now, the last thing that PlayStation showed off in their stream and what probably a lot of people were waiting for was an official look at the PS5 console. So just the physical look of it looks very... I guess sleek in a way, very futuristic almost. I like the light that glows around it. But I was also trying to see if I could pick up some other, you know, little technical aspects of it. You'll see a little bit later, it looks like there's two types of USB ports on the front, which is a little bit different what we have with the PS4. It looks like we have uh, the 
the USB port that we have currently among the two that are on the front of the PS4 looks like we have one of those on the PS5 and a different type of USB port on the front that I believe will be the charger for the controller because that the controller also has that same type of usb port i actually even put a picture up on the screen of these different types of usbs i believe the first one is a type a based off this picture here of the one that we currently have on the ps4 it looks like there's one of those on the ps5 and then also the type c looks like the one that could be for the the uh, controller charger but still we should still have two usbs so that'll be nice if you use something like a Seagate. I'm assuming you'd still be able to use that external hard drive. They also have a digital version, as you can see here, and a regular version. The main difference being, I guess, no disk entry for the digital version, probably just being mostly digital games there. And then they also go into showing off a number of, I guess, other hardware for this, uh, for the console, like the charging, dual sense charging station, the HD camera, the Pulse 3D wireless headset and the media controller just a lot of other hardware there but that's pretty much everything that playstation showed off and it's very exciting and very interesting in any case guys i hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful please don't forget to like subscribe share this video be sure to comment if you have any questions i hope you're just as excited about this new console as i am as always guys have a great day